Welcome back, noodle dicks. War school's in full gear now, so perk those ears and tighten those rears. Clench that shit. In the bloody bullet-ridden theater of war, you, the pissant soldier, are nothing but a tool, an asset, a cog in the gears of war. And if you think that shit's corny, go fuck yourself to death! Marcus Phoenix and I go way back. How far back is confidential, and I could kill you for even asking. Look at that neck. That's a warrior's neck. How much you want to wager his penis is twice as thick and half as long. Today, we're demonstrating how to hold down a position against an increasingly aggressive enemy force. Instead of pussy-ass humans, we're instead going to wipe this disgusting alien race off the face of the planet. Why? Because America, that's why. Your arsenal includes flaming shotguns, this grenade launcher inspired by the movie Tremors, and of course, your fists! What's this? Substitute a bayonet for a chainsaw? That's forward thinking, soldier. It makes no practical sense to pour gasoline into a firearm, but effective is effective. Saw that cock bite in half and never shift your cold, heartless gaze as he wonders how a human being could be so fucking badass and murder hungry. Next up, fortify that position. Razor wire, turrets, rusty metal spikes to catch them in the groin. Whatever you could do to keep them at bay. This is your fucking house, okay? And you're a waste of life if you let them take it from you. I once saw a man hold off a battalion of 500 soldiers using only his goddamn contact lens. And that man was me, because I leave no witnesses. Pro-war tip. Mutilating the corpses of fallen enemies sends a distinct message to his comrades that you are not to be fucked with in any way, shape, or form. Psychological warfare at its finest. Get creative with that shit. Other than that, it's just a matter of extreme perseverance and not being a terrible little fuckwit. If you can't make it to wave 50 on your own, then what the fuck are you doing to my war school? Pissing on the graves of men who could rape their face from the afterlife, that's what. Dismissed.